All right, so now that we're in the colder seasons, one of the most essential things for guys are going to be flannels. And today's video, I'm showing you exactly where to get the best one. All right, hey guys, how are you guys doing today? My name is Aaron Ramirez. If you guys are new around here and you guys are struggling with fashion and fitness, that is exactly what I talk about in this channel. So if you want to learn more, make sure to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. But like I said, today's video is going to be all about flannels. Like I said, they are very essential, especially on these colder times. So for today's video, I'm teaching you guys where to get the best and the most affordable one, depending on your budget. And by the way, the importance of a good flannel, I feel like it's very overlooked, especially for guys. Because ever since I started looking at TikTok videos, every single girl on there always talks about how good flannels looks on guys. So, so according to TikTok, I guess the easiest way to get a girl to look at you is wearing a nice flannel. So anyways, without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the list. So the first First one on the list is going to be Paxton. Now this place sells really good flannels and they are not crazy expensive. These range anywhere between $30 to $45, which is a pretty decent price, especially for the quality that you're getting. Now Paxton in general really isn't the cheapest, but that's because they sell really high quality items, including their flannels. Like I said, they range anywhere between $30 to $45 and that's because they retail other stores. And also you guys can tell the quality of the flannel by their thickness. Paxton sells some really nice thick flannels so that way you won't be left freezing. So in my opinion, it's just a really good place to get flannels. The second one on the list is going to be Hollister. Now Hollister is another store that not a lot of people know about, but they sell some really affordable things. In my opinion, this is a better place to get more affordable things rather than really high quality things. These flannels range anywhere between $25 to $40, but Hollister is always having sales, so you're never gonna pay the full $40. You're always gonna find some sort of sale that's going on. So usually you could find them anywhere between $25 to $30. And for their price, it's not a bad option, especially because their quality isn't the worst. They're also pretty thick, so they will keep you warm as well. The only thing I don't like about Hollister is that they brand everything so you are gonna have that Hollister logo but if you're okay with that then by all means check out Hollister in my opinion they're honestly one of my favorite stores alright so the next one on the list is going to be Uniqlo now Uniqlo sells really high quality things including their flannels as well and this is one of my favorite places to shop because Uniqlo sells really good things for a very good price Uniqlo is one of the best stores that you can find when you're not gonna compromise price for quality. Their flannels range anywhere between $35 to $50, depending on which one that you get. But like I said, they sell very high quality things. Now, Uniqlo flannels are also very thick, so it does do a very good job of keeping you warm, so that's why I recommend them the most. And like I said, for that price, you're not gonna find anything better. The fourth one on the list is gonna be Gap. Now I know Gap really isn't a place where a lot of people shop out. It's mostly like those kids that are going into like elementary school and middle school. But trust me when I say this, their flannels are actually really good. Especially recently, they just started upping their quality on their stuff. So it is a little bit more expensive, but like I said, Gap sells some really good flannels. I got my first flannel from Gap about a year ago and I just decided to try something new. And when I did, I was honestly surprised. Like I said, I got that last year, but it's doing a really good job of holding up and there's no signs of wear on it. So I definitely recommend that you check out Gap because it's very underrated. And like I said, they sell some really high quality flannels. All right, so we do have three more, but before I get into those, I just want to let you guys know if you guys haven't subscribed already, I know I mentioned this earlier but i'd really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe it would mean a lot to me and i'd do my best to try to help out as much people as i can with fashion and fitness so make sure to do that right now the next one on the list is going to be urban outfitters now i typically really don't shop there because their stuff is actually pretty expensive but urban outfitters is mostly like the store that i would shop at if i know i have some good money to spend on some high quality things it is really pricey that's why i don't really shop there too much but if i do have some good money that i do want to spend on high quality pieces that are going to last me a long time Urban Outfitters is going to be the place for that. Now, on average, you're going to find a flannel for around $70, which I know is a lot to spend. So that's why I only recommend it if you guys want something that's high quality and is going to last you a very long time. Now, my flannel from Urban Outfitters is the one that I wear the most, and I really love it because there is no signs of wear. It still looks practically brand new, and that's why I really like it. So I definitely recommend that you guys check out Urban Outfitters if you guys want something very high quality. And another reason why I love Urban Outfitters is because they do a very good job of keeping up with trends. So if you're looking to get into new trends, Urban Outfitters is going to be your best bet. And it's the place that I recommend for the highest quality that you can get for under $100 at least. The sixth one on the list is going to be H&M. And the reason why I'm throwing H&M on there, I know, is because this is the cheapest place where you can get a good, a good flannel. Now, these are typically $20, which is a very good price for a flannel. But just keep in mind, these this isn't the highest quality that you can get. If you don't really mind quality and you're just trying to find a decent flannel just for the season, H&M is definitely going to be your best bet. Because like I always say, money doesn't equal style. You don't have to drop a lot of money on one piece. 
you could definitely go to H&M and find a $20 flannel that's going to look just as good. H&M is definitely one of the cheapest alternatives that you guys can get when you're trying to find a good flannel because their price tag isn't very high. Like I said, it's $20. Alright, so the next one and the last one on the list is going to be ASOS. Now, I really like ASOS because it's a retailer for a bunch of different stores as well as their own brand. Now, ASOS brand does sell very cheap things, so you can find a flannel for, again, $20, but on average, you're going to find flannels for around $30. Now with ASOS, you kind of have both and both. You have the really cheap things and you have the really expensive things. So you could definitely find a very high quality flannel, but you are going to pay a lot more opposed to a lower quality flannel that's definitely going to be a lot cheaper. So in my opinion, definitely experiment with both. If you're trying to find a color that you think will look good on you, but you're not entirely sure, definitely pick up a $20 flannel. And if you're trying to get something more high quality that you know you're going to want for a very long time, go with the more expensive flannel. That's just my opinion. That's personally what I would recommend because on flannels, you could have a variety of different colors because they're so versatile for example if you want something that's like black and white that goes with pretty much everything and you want it to last a long time pick it up from urban outfitters and then if you want to try a new color on you for example like a yellow flannel pick that up from h&m for around 20 dollars just to see how it'll look good on you so that way so that way if you only wear it a few times it's fine because you're not going to be wasting your money because at the end of the day you didn't really spend that much money now like i said that's my personal opinion and it's also a recommendation to experiment with different colors especially if your wardrobe's all all the same color a good place to start mixing up your colors is with flannels because like I mentioned earlier girls love flannel so I definitely recommend picking up a variety of different flannels so yeah the colors that I recommend that will go good with anything is black and white dark blues and grays these are colors that will go with everything so that's what I recommend picking up some high quality pieces for and if you're trying to experiment with new colors try some green ones some yellow ones or even some browns like I said, I absolutely love flannels. And if you're new to the whole flannel thing, trust me when I say this, you will fall in love with it because they're just so easy to wear. Which reminds me, if you guys are new to the flannel things and you guys want to know what's the best way to go with that, a flannel over a hoodie is going to be my go-to way to wear a flannel. So yeah, anyways guys, I hope this did help. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. I would really appreciate it. Let me know what's your favorite color on flannels down in the comments because I need to pick some new ones up, so definitely. So I'm going to be looking through the comments to see what are the recommendations. But like I said, I did hope that this helped. But anyways guys, that's it for today's video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.